and again, Shay was correct. Big gentleman of the dot com boom in the Bitcoin chart. Totally right. Darth Mike, it's, man, this is what I think. It's going to be around 2024 when we see some real gains. You got this. It's, I think Darth Mike's right. Some real gains. I mean, there's going to be days when it's like today, five, six percent up. That's pretty good, right? But like for me, when I take a look at it, I just, I just think it's all just repeats. And I think we're, you know, just going to happen again. But I could be wrong because I was wrong before. I mean, that's just how it is. Uh, Momo says, buy the dip. I Look, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not buying any dips. I'm just dollar cost averaging every week now instead of every day. So I think there's more downside. Uh, I could be wrong, <clears throat> but I'm still in the game a little bit. And if I'm, if I'm wrong, I missed out on, you know, buying potentially even lower prices. But if I'm right and it keeps going lower and I buy every week, it should even out. Because hopefully in three, five, ten years, instead of us being a sub-trillion market cap, we're at 10 trillion or 20 trillion. Who knows what can happen in, in a decade? Just saying. Chicken Ray waiting for 17K. Me too. That'd be awesome. Chris says, Rob is the older brother I never had or wanted. That's not true. It's not true. Not the person you wanted. Maybe the person you needed. Beardy. Beardy's probably falling asleep at the whatever medical institution he works for. If I fall asleep one more time, I'll get magic with the wrench. And then uh, Ascender said, yeah, sure. Let's trust the mortgage to a company called Empower. Yeah, it's true. I mean, look, maybe the name needs a little bit of work, but again, this is looking at it through the, the eyes of an American. So maybe over there, it's like the greatest thing of all time. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. And then Iguana says, look at the dev activity from all L1s. But look, I mean, look, everything's built on Cardano or Ethereum. Let's just be honest. Everything is built on Cardano. There's so many projects. But to call something like a complete ghost chain where nobody's building on it is just, I think, disingenuous. And if you get the information in front of you and you don't report on that information, I think there's something a little bit off about what's going on. Just like, you know, it was like the information for Celsius. June 12th, I was in, or June 11th and 10th, I was in uh, consensus, heard some rumblings. June 12th, I came back, drove back from Austin to El Paso, put out a video in the morning, said, take all your stuff off Celsius. And then nine hours later, they shut down withdrawals. And then a couple of days later, we got these rules that I put up, even though I talked about not your keys, not your crypto. I want to make sure I beat into people's heads. And uh, then there were some things, funny things with Voyager. And I, on June 22nd, I go, look, they didn't collateralize this huge loan. Take everything off. Not the greatest thing to say, you know, if you want to have a relationship with, with a place that you actually like, but it had to be done. And June 22nd, I said, take it all off. Then, of course, July 1st, shut down withdrawals. So, again, the information that you get, I think if you don't look at it for what it is, uh, maybe look at it a little bit different, uh, another way. Uh, easy, just 10K card on your portfolio is life-changing in five years. Yeah. Per YouTuber, I don't know. If that's life-changing. Depends on who you are, right? If you're like 15 years old. Or maybe if you're in a third-world country. I don't know. Maybe if you're in India or... I, like uh, Iran or something. Maybe it is. Maybe it is an American. I don't, it's, it depends on you. Darth Mike. Uh, and this was like, someone said, I'm glad I didn't listen a lot to Robin and take profits. I'm not telling anybody to take profits. I'm just saying, consider to take profits because I don't want everybody to be like, oh, I should have taken more profits. So every time there's like a little bit of pump, I'm like, hey, you might want to think about that. And he comes back and says, look, there's, Wait till the weekend, it'll be down again. So, just saying, that's all. Mm. <laughs> Somebody get me out of bed when Bitcoin is back under 17.5. That's right. Hola, Santi. How are you? Yeah, I'm beating every day in sweat. Get off your butt. I know, it's just I've had a lot of things. I should be doing pretty well. I got to go replace the nets over at the sports facility tonight. So, maybe I'll get off. And do these things. Canadian holders. Boy, Canada's a lot hot thing. People like like that. Ledger X is worth the price. Yeah, I should know. I got like four of those things. ETH is garbage. Eh. A lot of people use it. I'm not saying it's like the last thing of all time to be used. I just think 
A lot of people use it. What happens if ETH does a delay again? You mean when ETH does a delay again? <laughs> Nothing will happen. We'll have like a little bit of a dip and people are like, eh, it'll come out in a couple months, just like it was before. Whew. Imagine if Celsius allows withdrawals now. Run on the bank. That's what I say. Ooh, Bitcoin almost at 22K. Woo. Take the little wins. And what else we got? I heard, sorry. I heard this was a fake story. Hey, Rob, can you come on the millions of metric tons of gold deposits allegedly found in Africa? As reported by the Uganda government. And you have to understand, just because they found it, I don't know if it was some kind of geograph. Uh, however, they would find gold and, and decipher that and find out how much metric tons there are. There's a big difference between it actually being there and them actually extracting that gold. And that is a big if, because that story, I saw that a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, this is the same story from like a year ago. So I can't, I can't comment on it because it doesn't seem like it's legit. But if it is legit, just remember it takes a long while to extract that. Do you see the pump right now? So the pump, let's take a look. All right. 21.7. Uh, no. Oh, market cap is at 1 trillion. That's pretty nice. 5% up. Ethereum back to 12.49, 244. Well, that's some pretty, looks nice. Nice green day. So what does that mean? Don't forget to think about taking profits. I know it's annoying, but I don't care. How is tomato coin growing? Well, it's proof of, it's POS, proof of sauce. Yes. Yes. Hey, oh, God damn it. Soul phone. Uh, I think it's called the soul glow phone. Anyhow, so soul phone that I heard that they are developing. Sure, let's see if it actually works out. I don't know. I've seen a lot of a lot of tech uh, talk about them coming to uh, market, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it didn't work out. Bitcoin broke out. Ooh, is that an interesting take? Every single crypto platform will be under centralized banks in the next five years. I, I'll flip that on its head. I think centralized banks will be uh, hooking up into uh, exchanges and they will offer that to their customers because more customers will want crypto. <laughs> Rob is still hurt by the rejection. Ever saying how quickly, how quick people flip and blame me for the decisions I get a little more. Sorry, I don't know if I said something that I try. I may have called you a troll or something. And I said I'd do it for the trolls. It's very hard to get the sentiments from just text sometimes. And that's it. Ah. Ooh, this is a good coin. Texas State Securities Board Enforcement Division sent me an email regarding Voyager. Did you receive one too? Yes, I did. Is it legit? I'm not for sure because when I took a look at the uh, the to or the from uh, email, it looked really strange of how it was formatted. So again, if you think that there's something wrong with an email, there is an email checker. There's a link in the description. It's like the first thing. It says, do you think this email is a scam? And it runs it through uh, some, it's an online tool that you can use. And it kind of checks to work to uh, see if it's spam or not. And then I give you a video about how it actually works. So check that out. Your thoughts on Voyager today? Nothing really to report. They're still in chapter 11. There's still some discrepancies between FDIC. If, uh, if it is going to be covered, I know Metropolitan Bank put out a uh, notice on the weekend, which said that the FDIC insurance only pertains if um, Metropolitan Bank goes under or something, kind of, something happens with Metropolitan Bank, not with Voyager as it is a pass-through. But then there's other uh, documents that look like it is going to be uh, taken care of. And then, of course, we talked about that in the tweet from Steve Ehrlich himself. So I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of things that need to be worked out. And I am trying not to spread any misinformation. So I will 
sometimes it's just good just to sit back and do nothing and wait for everything to clear out and go from there. But we covered the uh, chapter 11 bankruptcy yesterday at length. I think it was over an hour video. And it's from yesterday, so you can sh find it very simple. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know about that one. He told me to send you my project. Oh, if you send it, I may have looked at it and uh, probably pass on it. Sorry, man. That's just how it is. Are you heading to Puerto Rico? Yes. September or, or October, one of those two. Yeah, I can't wait. We live in Puerto Rico. We just vacation here for quite some time. We have our grandson with us now, so... Not going to go anywhere for a while. The FedEx is expected to raise rates again. What's new? Planet? Yeah. Ron, let the rates rip to 20%. Let's just pull the bandit off already. I would... I'll go for that. I wanted a full point to go from there. Do you think 70K is the bottom? I am 51% sure that it is the bottom, but I'm 49% sure, not sure that it is. <laughs> ah, thank you, making waves, but it's true. Hmm. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. I can always watch that movie. Yeah, it used to be. Ah, uh, God, Jamie, good question. Dan, what exchanges do you recommend to buy crypto? I was getting ready to sign up for... Oyster? In this app. I don't know what Oyster is. I'm signing up for uh, to use the Lightning Network to buy Bitcoin to transfer into my ledger. And I'll let you know. I'll do a video on that. And that's about it. Right now, because obviously I use Voyager, I've been using Coinbase. Because I can't use... I don't know if FTX.us allows Texas residents. I don't think they allow Puerto Rican residents anymore. Or could. I could be wrong. Maybe it changed. So I haven't used FTX. And I can't use Binance US either. So I've been using Coinbase every, well, this Sunday. Got it done. Nothing wrong with that. Phobos, got to do what you got to do. <laughs> A wishful thinking. What if the crypto market recovers soon and no crazy? Let's hope so, but I don't see that happen. And of course, there's a, it's a weird thing. Because FTX, which is owned by is, is Sam Bakeman frieds exchange, and that entity is separate from Alameda Research. And it looks like Alameda Research owes Voyager like $384 million. Or, and then it's weird. And then they gave him a loan. I, I got to untangle that whole thing. But it doesn't make any sense. Let's see. Yeah, um, Joseph makes a good point. Cover that buying that, the nano ledgers online. Some sellers are pre-configuring them and changing seed phrase and taking crypto. All yours is the nano creation. So just go to the source, ledger, L-E-D-G-E-R dot com. I have a link. I don't think the affiliate link works anymore. So it's just ledger.com. And ledger had a little falling out. I got pretty ticked off at one point. I don't know why. I'm lovable sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I have too much money with taking profits. Just relax and buy Dardano. So yeah, I know you're decent right now, but do you have a little extra power set aside for the CPI? Yeah, if there's a big dip, I mean, it has to be pretty massive. Sure. Oh, that's a good point. Taking profits around 27.8. Sounds good. I'm not taking profits until 23. Sounds good too. Do whatever you want. <laughs> ah, John, that was a good one. You gotta be pitting me, kidding me. Mm. <laughs> Looks like the people who said the bottom isn't in yet were wrong again. Trust me. There's one thing that two TA experts can agree on, and that is that the third TA expert is totally wrong. Peter Schiff working at McDonald's. I don't know who that guy is. Just kidding. 
Yeah, I heard his, there was some problem with the bank or something. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, this is it. Thanks for the Voyager. Heads up, Rob. Got all but 50 bucks of gala off before the shutdown. Great. I've, a lot of people have been DMing me on the side saying, hey, man, thanks because I got all my uh, crypto off. Sure. I'm glad you listened. It's amazing because like I'll talk about not your keys, not your crypto. I'll specifically make videos about certain platforms. I'll put the rules up and people will still say, you shilled those two and I lost everything. What do you got to say? I'm like, did you not hear the rest of it? It's like talking about like, you know, it'd be good if you want to lose weight, maybe do a little bit of running or maybe do, do a push up or two. Okay. But then after that, you go and eat. And I, I tell you, also, it's 80% diet. That's what's most important. And then you go out and you just eat a tub of ice cream. You're like, why don't I have a six-pack abs? Yeah, I don't know. Love to about Cody and DJ. Those are the currency of the internet, C-O-T-I, from built on Cardano. Should I be worried about Coinbase wallet? Apparently not. This is not advice whatsoever, but as I understand it, you own your keys for that. So as long as you have a mnemonic phrase and it gets backed up and you have a private keys, you are in control. Thoughts on Vault? Uh, will customers get their funds back? Again, they also stop withdrawals. I believe that is a exchange in India. And uh, they talked about, uh, is it India? It's just another exchange. What was, it, what was interesting to me is that place had a billion assets under management or crypto and um, they just shut down withdrawals. Do I think it? Can't tell you. I can just tell you one thing. And it looks like this. See that, those rules underneath there? I'm not gonna say it. But see the third one, nothing on exchanges? Just do that. Do you own any dot? Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, so. Jed, Jed, it goes like this. There's all these different, if, if I talk about, like people will in the comments later, I can guarantee you this, they will call me a shill for talking about Vote Air, which was the, the voting platform on Cardano, which if it's kind of weird because voting is always free. It says it right there, right? But they're gonna call me a shill because I'm shilling or I'm talking about this project. And there's different definitions of what someone would consider a shill. And everybody's, everybody's different. So some people will say, well, that's shilling because you're talking about a project. And others will people will, other people will say, well, it's only shilling when you talk about a project but don't believe in it and don't own anything. And then there's some people in the middle will say, well, you shill, like for me, like I, you're, you're shilling Bitcoin because you're, you own it and you talk about it. And all three depending on what they believe in is what a shill is. So it kind of goes like that. It's, just, it's the same thing as like clickbait. Some people will call the thumbnail that I did today clickbait. Oh, you and I guarantee that'll be in the comments. Uh, oh, you're going to talk about the dot com and you're going to scare people and sure. And those are the thumbnail warriors, the thumbnail investors, and that's fine. So it just depends on what it is. But I always remember, I was almost stoic and I, and I said this yesterday, I screwed it up, but it's the same thing. I, either Seneca I think it was Seneca. And then someone corrected me. It wasn't Plato because he wasn't a, a Stoic. I thought he was. But it said, uh, be kind to everybody who you meet because you don't know the battles that they go through. So that was pretty good. So I don't know. I'm shorting, I'm shorting oxygen. Who else is buying virtual land? I bought a bunch of virtual land in Sandbox. Did a video about it. Me and uh, Stash, actually. <laughs> Real shills have old face thumbnails. I'm this close. No, I'm not going to do it. But I was talking to a guy when I, when a guy from Coin Bureau when I went did his his uh, his event in uh, London, and he's like, "Look," he goes, "We are trying to work out the algorithm because the goal is to get as many views as he possibly can." I get it, and he's like, "So." 
will probably slowly edge into the O face stuff. And I started to laugh. I'm like, yeah, you won't do that. And of course now because he does, but it's, it's still funny. Cause I'm like, it just seems like you got to do it. I just can't do it. Ah, okay. Vicky's got a good point. Uh, a shill is one who poses as a satisfied customer or an enthusiastic gambler to dupe bystanders into participating in a swindle. I guess that that would be a, a pretty great definition. I'm sure it's pulled right from Wikipedia or something. But yeah, but some, but some people will still say, well, you're a shill just because you talk about a project, even if you believe in it, even if you sold both kidneys to buy into it, you're still shilling, shilling it. Yeah, Robert, this was on uh, April. We did that one. It was a good one. I actually the the recording when guy was inter when guy was interviewing me on stage. Uh, the, just search for Coin Bureau and Digital Asset News. It'll come up. <laughs> I know the O face. I can do a smirk. That's about as good as it goes. Like I'm, I'm old. I just don't. <laughs> I, I've got just enough energy for this and some other stuff, and that's it. All right. Everybody coming up in the hour. So, look, i got to take this kid uh, to the park, and that's it for me. So, look, like today's video, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe, all that great stuff. And uh, that's it for today. So I will see everybody tomorrow. I do appreciate everybody showing up and just talking with me. Very nice. Appreciate you guys. So thanks so much. See you on the next one. Adios. Do-do-do.